Mm. What a wonderful way to start the, uh, the day. You know, uh, the practical management of wildlife is what we want to discuss and uh, to, to, to show and share with you uh, the right balance, the right focus, the right mindset to have the right results at the end of the day. You can see the fantastic uh, pregnant skyline and that's why we're in the twin cap today because we have our famous high fell thunderstorms uh, coming and it's going to then really when the sky is as pregnant as that going to rain on us it's going to be a deluge so we don't want to get caught in the cruiser today see our fantastic friends uh, in good shape felts green bucks happy this is the place to be practical things about wildlife first, of course, is your land and your species. And with the species, the norm was to keep only those whom occurred before. But now, with managing the wildlife, not leaving the ecology to itself, you can modify and change it. With the social integration and then uh, the, the structure of, uh, of the fauna and flora there. So what we what we are doing is introducing new species, but one must be very very careful because you can upset the balance. Mm. Bless back is wonderfully happy. The challenges of adaption when it comes to the practical management of wildlife is getting the species to not only adapt to the ecology but to adapt to the interaction of each, each other. So that needs a fine understanding and wisdom of the integration of species. Because there's many species that will directly conflict with each other. Blue wildebeest and black wildebeest, round antelope and, and gemsbuck. They are uh, genetically equivalents of each other and, and they do have an impact on each other. So they, their numbers, the areas that, that they keep, their favorite grass, their favorite uh, 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 habitats, uh, their drinking patterns, you know, all of that needs to be taken into consideration um, so that the harmony and the ecology is in balance. The black wildebeest bulls have been pushed out of the herd because they're too active for the young ones. We've discussed that before. You see, uh, the key is not to keep as diverse a number of species as possible because your land can only hold so many head. The thing is to have the right amount per species so that the social behavior uh, can naturally um, be executed and, 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 and their behavior can, uh, can, can uh, uh, integrate uh, naturally on such a way that it is the closest as if, if it would have been if nature has run the course by itself. You know, genetic deterioration is one of the things that we have to guard against because you always see it when it's too late and then you have the genetically inferior animals. So your gene pool, a shrinking gene pool is one of the greatest, greatest causes of genetic uh, deterioration and we always try and offset that. I'm trying to keep my eyes on you but it's always drawn back. <laughs> to the beauty of that. Now, we manage that by always bringing in new uh, uh, animals, but you have to have a right balance and you have to have an understanding that you cannot just fragment herds. When you move a herd, it is best to move as many animals as possible, or when you have one or two or three genetically superior male animals, you have to remove those that will eliminate them or, 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 or um, fight for them uh, with them for dominance. So if they come in, they must be the dominant ones because you make sure that that new bloodline, the new seed is, uh, is in, your, in your herd and you have the lambs, the foals and the calves in the new season.
the point of one, one's heart. You know, our discipline and focus on our uh, species number, gender ratio, the integration, the social balance is the key to our success. Having the understanding, having acquired it over, over decades of, of, of working with animals, of uh, moving animals, of putting different species and introducing new species and seeing the, the impact, something that you would never have considered, something that nobody could tell you about and something that's not written in books. The experience is what makes all the difference. Yeah, 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 yeah.